were primarily shortboarding and got to a point where I was, I guess, looking for something else and I met a lot of people that influenced me, like Alex Nose and, and Tanner Perry and, and Tyler Warren and, you know, you feed off those guys. You know, started to, to hand shape a lot of boards and, you know, more classic side of the surf building and looking at like an art form. The mid-lengths is sort of the start of the shortboard I was really drawn to because of the ability to turn them and the, the trim you can still get from them. We're tapping in and, and feeling that, you know, the roll bottoms and the slight V out the tail or whatever were working really well in, in sort of sucky, hollow conditions where I'd never saw the board go and to tap into that and feel it and ride it was like a really good experience for us. I was living in Sydney with um, one of our friends, Jason Salisbury, and we were kind of getting a bit burnt on Sydney and paying so much rent there in Australia, and it was kind of getting pretty tough for us. So we all sort of packed up our, our lives and our girlfriends, and we all moved over and got a house in Bali for the next three years anyway. And yeah, we just started surfing heaps and, and really tapping into living over there and finding the good waves and, and working on our equipment. And the Temple of Enthusiasm, I think it's been dubbed. It's just like a space that was there and just kind of got drawn to it. And, be able to create stuff and make stuff and just I just like making boards so we just end up making a bunch of boards surfing them all through Indo. Getting into your boards and realizing what like concaves or V's or you know 50-50 rails or down rail or you know the characteristics of surfboards, it, it's just like a crazy evolution process of you just constantly thinking about the rail that's in the water and it's been, it's been a hell of a ride and I'm loving, loving every minute of it. It's just free thinking, like who doesn't want to free think, <laughs> you know? I don't know, it could be rambling. <laughs> I could end up like poor in, in the gutter, I'm a free thinker man, <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs>